Okay, so that brings us to the last part of this, okay? Last part of all these chemical reactions which are involving. So it's going to be um, one reaction that you may have heard of. It's called, it's called esterification. Okay, it's, it's called esterification. All right, that's the reaction it's going to be called. So in this reaction, what we're going to do is we are just going to be dealing with, uh, we're going to be dealing only with primary alcohols okay alcohols primary alcohols plus with carboxylic acid carboxylic acids what will happen is we have a reversible reaction where you end up getting something like an ester and you get water okay so whenever you get water being produced these type of reactions are called condensation Okay, these type of reactions are called condensation. So whenever we have two molecules, they are combining together and it removes water, that type of reaction is called condensation. So during this process, right, th this reaction happens under something called reflux. Okay, reflux. And we add a catalyst and the catalyst which is added is concentrated sulfuric acid. That is the catalyst which is added. Okay. Now, what happens uh, during this reaction is we have a primary alcohol. Let's say we are, we are not going to be dealing with secondary alcohols and so on. A primary alcohol. And I think when we talked about, um, we talked about, uh, what do you call this? Esters. I did talk to you about this. So let's say we have an ester. Okay, sorry. Let's say we have a carboxylic acid here. So what happens here is, okay, so let's say this is ethanol this is ethanol and let's say this is ethanoic acid ethanoic acid okay so what will happen is uh, this part and this part will combine with each other and this will be removed as water okay this will be removed as water so what we'll end up getting is we will end up getting this okay, mm -hmm. okay so we get this group here and then we get water coming up right we get water coming up so this entire linkage the let's say this linkage here this linkage here this is called ester bond okay this is an ester bond all right so this is a reversible reaction so what it means is what reversible basically means is let's say if you have an ester okay let's say you have an ester um let's take a simple ester let's say you have an ester like this one okay let's say you have an ester methyl ethanoic okay this is an ester what can happen to this ester is we can actually carry out the opposite process the opposite process we can use uh, usually dilute acid okay we use dilute acid we can use that and what will happen is you can break this ester down to its component carboxylic acid like in this case it is still it is still ethanoic acid and the alcohol that i used in this example here was methanol okay so this process where we use water to break something down is called hydrolysis okay hydrolysis okay now in this whole process right if you decide you don't want to use dilute acid but instead you want to use uh let's say you don't want to use dilute acid you want to use an alkali let's say you want to use potassium hydroxide okay if you want to use potassium hydroxide what will happen is um, you will still get your alcohol Okay, you still get your alcohol, you still get this. But then what will happen is you will end up getting your carboxylic acid, right? Well, now what will happen is it will become a carboxylate ion with, uh, let's say, oh, it wasn't sodium, with potassium. You get a salt, okay? You, instead of getting uh, the acid, you get a potassium uh, salt. Okay. so this is called potassium potassium ethanoate. Uh, no eight that's what it's called okay so you can do hydrolysis with acid or alkali normally we prefer acid because you get back what you put in okay 
you get back what you put in. So, um, then there's one last chemical here which we call amides. Okay, amides. All right. Now, amides is actually carboxylic acid. Let's say we take carboxylic acid. All right, we take carboxylic acid and then we react it with an amine. Okay, for example, let's say we react it with um, an amine like this. Okay. Let's say this one, a methyl amine or methane amine. Okay, we react it like this. Now, this reaction, you see, carboxylic acid is an acid and amines are bases. So, essentially, this, this is a base, right? And this is an acid. So, essentially, this is an acid-base reaction. But we don't want it to be acid-base. We don't want to produce water and salt. What we're going to do is we're going to carry out this reaction. And this is, sorry, this reaction is also reversible, okay? We're going to carry out this reaction under very high temperature and high pressure okay usually this is done at high temperature and usually at high pressure what do you end up getting is you will end up getting um okay you will end up getting oops sorry you end up getting uh the nitrogen comes here yep so you end up getting something like this You see, this is an amide. In this case, this is a secondary amide, right? So why is it secondary amide? You see this nitrogen here? This nitrogen is bonded to one carbon and another carbon. So it's called secondary. So it's bonded to one carbon here and another carbon here. So this is secondary amide. If this was also replaced by another carbon, then it becomes a tertiary amide. So if the nitrogen is only attached to one carbon, then it's a primary amide, okay? So, currently we are having a secondary amide. And then uh, what happened just now was, this is the reaction that happened. This guy combined with this, and then there would be water produced, okay? And the last, very last thing, this is a reversible reaction. So when this is a reversible reaction, we want the reaction to go backwards. What happens is, if we put some dilute acid, okay, we put some dilute acid, what will happen is this entire amide can be broken down back into the carboxylic acid and into the base again okay we can do that that means we can reverse the reaction so forward reaction is usually done at high temperature and pressure the reverse reaction uh, can be done by just adding dilute acid so like for example look at to make things simple let's say let's say oops <laughs> that's supposed to be a test tube let's say you have some amide in here right let's say you have some amide uh, what you're going to do is you put in some dilute acid okay we put in some dilute acid then maybe we just heat up a little bit no need to boil just heat up a little bit and what you'll end up getting is you'll end up getting your carboxylic acid you end up getting your carboxylic acid and you end up getting your amine Okay, you end up getting your amine back again. So you can reverse this reaction. Okay, so so basically we are done with chemical reactions. Okay, we are done with chemical reactions. And then the next thing, you're going to be on break. And then after that, we'll be talking about uh, something else. So we will be finishing up the syllabus uh, later. All right.